you one final reminder. Tomorrow is the Spencer Toys for Tot Drive at Schleybaugh Engines from 11 to 3 p.m. We hope you got your tickets. The Toro Company, I can't say thank you enough to the Toro Company. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sponsoring this event, taking care of us. Also, a great big thank you to Josh, Ruben, Dennis, Willis, all of you guys out there at Schleybaugh Engines for having us and hosting the event as well and being a sponsor of Spencer Lawn Care in our channel. We appreciate all of you so much and all of our other folks that provided gifts to give to you guys and gals as well. We appreciate all of you as well. We have a huge, huge giveaway thanks to the Toro Company. We're going to be giving away a brand spanking new mower. You're going to have to wait and see which mower it is. We'll hope to see you guys there. Tickets will be on sale until 12 a.m. tonight. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on another freezing cold day in Ohio? Got to get used to it here for a little bit. No, believe it or not, I was watching the news this morning. They said we're going to get a little bit of a warm-up and a ton of the wet stuff, and it's not gonna be white. So, yeah, it looks like it's gonna get nasty, and uh, it's gonna be here for a good minute, but currently letting the uh, dump truck defrost and uh, enjoying a cup of coffee. And this baby's going to the shop, so we're gonna get it there. So in yesterday's video, Benjamin commented and he said, I heard it's pretty common that your guys' door handles will actually freeze and bust when you go to open them. And uh, that is very true. Not all the time, but it can happen. It's happened to a vehicle or two throughout my life. And what happens is they make all these vehicles handles and wiper blades and a few other things out of plastic. And when plastic gets really cold, it gets super brittle. So I understand not all of you live in a cold uh, climate. I don't recommend it unless you uh, really like cold. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it's very common. You'll come out and, you know, maybe even you had your car warming up for five minutes and your windshield wipers are froze to the windshield and you click them on and it snaps those little clips off inside there and, uh, you know, grab the door handle and pull it a little too hard and boom, it pops off there as well. And, uh, a few other things that'll break your your key locks you know back in the day would freeze up but you know if you you learn how to manage those things living in these climates uh some people will put like vaseline uh on their door seals uh we pretty much know don't put the windows down if it's froze uh especially the side power windows it'll snap those little motors off that are inside of there and uh yeah, it can make for a bad day real quick and in a hurry. We're where we need to be. Probably looks familiar to some of you. So this is ALE truck beds. They do a host of different things here, but primarily if you need a new aluminum flatbed, they'll put one on your truck. Kind of like that one right there. We're getting some other stuff done here. But anyways, I gotta get the truck in here. I'm a little bit behind, ran into some traffic. We got the beautiful TQ, what's up? Wow, that sun is bright. Yeah. How's be, it going? Be that good morning sun. It is good morning sun. I know you have a hair appointment, so I won't hold you up too long, but I just want everybody to say hi to you, and you say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Hope you have a beautiful day today. There's our hours, guys, if you're interested. Kind of a host of different things they offer here. All kinds of goodies. Lights, hitches, truck beds, like I told you, toolboxes, salt spreaders. Get you all hooked up. It should be done at the end of today, he said. But uh, I'm sure some of you have a general idea of what we're doing. But a couple other things as well that uh, might surprise you a little bit, I guess you could say. All right, so the fun continues with this cold weather. It's got the chicken feed filled up. I'm like, I gotta get down and get plates on the Isuzu box truck. So uh, went over to start it up here. I'll show you guys real quick. But anyways, it's dead. 
So the thing that stinks is I could use my truck if I could get to it, but where I have the dump, the box truck parked, the battery's up under there and I can't reach to it with my jumper cables. So, I've never done this before, but I'm gonna actually see if the Toro said I've never used a mower to jump the vehicle before I'm gonna separate those this could go bad I don't know don't find out though So this is now the next day. I shot the original video dropping the truck off the same day they were doing the dirt at the property, bringing in all the dirt. So those videos were shot the same day. I just split them up because I didn't want to do a truck video and bringing in dirt video all in the same. I like, how do you even title that? Brought in 10 million pounds of dirt and also got some upgrades on the dump truck. Anyways, TQ is gonna drive it out here real quick and we'll uh, show you exactly what we got. So first things first, the strobe light. She might not know where the auxiliary, there it is. So we'll go ahead and show you guys these real quick. And if you don't know, you change the pattern. There's actually a wire up by the battery box, uh, by the battery, and you just touch that wire with a little bit of power 
and that actually changes the pattern. So, got the strobes out back as well as you can see. And then something else you guys can probably pick up as well that I know you've been hounding me about, but believe it or not, I had it set up to be done whenever we were doing the leaf vac and all that. We just ran out of time, believe it or not. So Tim was going to put the brackets under there. Didn't work out, so we went ahead and got them done out here. This is a truck bed manufacturer, and uh, they do all this stuff. So I went ahead and had them take care of that. And what they did <clears throat> is actually brought the brackets out, and then they came into the side. There was actually holes already on the side of the frame, and they were able to just utilize those. So didn't harm anything. Biggest thing is I didn't want to drill or cut into the powder coating so this thing's triple powder coated so they were able to utilize those bolts back there and uh put these nice heavy duty brackets on there put their mud flaps on there and uh really really cool takes care of that whole back end gonna also whenever we're driving for, with our plow setup yes that is coming very soon stick around next week this truck will be going in at some point, but uh, that'll keep a lot of the road salt and stuff from hitting the rest of that out back as well. And also keep drivers safe. We don't want to be taking anybody's windows out. And uh, we won't hear as many rocks pinging and clinging off the bed. Yeah, it's got different patterns, that's cool. Oh yeah, and if you didn't notice, there's one more thing here that we had done while it was here. And that's the actual bed lights itself. So these lights here were not hooked up, okay? all the way around up the side. Now on this side, we were gonna have this one up here replaced, but they couldn't get it in because of this bracket, the way it comes down, it actually slides right up against that. That's actually that bar coming down and sliding right past it. They couldn't get a light in there and they couldn't get a plug in there because it was hitting. So he called me, he's like, hey, we hooked the rest of the bed lights up, we just can't get that one. So, like this one here on the side is all lit up. On that side, a little bit of a, I don't know if a bed manufacturing error or what, but maybe that bar got bent, I don't know, but we can't get a light in there. It won't, it won't fit at all. So I might get just a dummy one and just put that cap in there, if I can get the cap in there. Uh, they just, here they were like, it, it just looked goofy, so. They didn't do it. I told them not to worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. So, yeah. There you guys have it. ALE truck beds, Mountain, Ohio. If you guys need to get anything done, right there is their phone number. Get you in and get you taken care of real quick and in a hurry. I don't think she wants to race. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. She's about to get it. Oh, I'm spinning, I'm spinning, I'm spinning, I'm spinning. Can't get no traction. <laughs> oh. Dang, TQ, you just sucked down a quarter tank of gas there, girl. Chill out. All right, let me open this V6 up. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we're cruising now. 55. and making sure the lights work. All right, I figured I'd answer some more of your questions. So they are hardwired in. This is the front light. This is the back strobe lights. Let's hop out here real quick. So I wanted to show you guys as well. These are made by buyers, okay? You can order these actually online. It's what they use at that facility that we went to, ALE and they're really really cool like i told you i still have to set my pattern i haven't done that just yet but simply there's a wire that comes up to the battery like i told you and you just touch it with a little bit of electricity and it changes the pattern to what you want another question we get asked all the time is why do we choose to run green and white well guys simply green is my favorite color don't mind my beautiful hair i've used it on all of our products over the years since we made the change to run our own businesses so the main reason we switched is years ago, 
uh, universities did a study and then they actually worked with dot i believe it was and they found out that green and white had less accidents a lot less accidents than amber and white Hence why you see a lot of the highway workers and stuff going to a green and amber light, okay? I like the green and white look. I'm allowed to use it here in the state of Ohio. Check your state rules as well and to make sure you're allowed to run it because I know some states do not allow you to run this pattern. They also don't want you running like red and blue, but there are stipulations everywhere and it's different in every state. I'm allowed to do it. I like the way it looks. It's safer, so that's why we choose to run them like this here. Now, some of you might be wondering as well, how long did installation take? Well, like I told you, this is the next day. They ended up having it all day yesterday and then a little bit this morning, but that was mainly because they were trying to locate that actual light that went on the side of the bed that we couldn't get fixed. So I hope this answers most of your questions. If you have any other ones, drop them in the comments. We'll try to get to them. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye-bye.